Paint 70, when Johnny comes marching home. Again, it's got two flats. So is it in B flat major or G minor? Well, they're talking about G minor chords. It's probably in G minor. But let's take a look. Look at the bottom, the end of it. Pay 71 at the end, the last measure you're here. It's a G minor chord, so I'm. it's in G minor. You need to know these primary chords. The, the 1, the 4, the 5, 7. They're like the G major chords, except you have a B flat and an E flat. See, G major is here and here. Well, G minor, just a B flat and an E flat. Same. Six eight time, so an eighth note gets a count. At the beginning, the right hand, when it comes in, you're coming in on bass clef, you're down here. Here? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Then you get treble clef here. You hold that down for four counts, and then you come up down here. Six. So the the last measure on page 70 is one, two, three, four, four, five. Five is our rest, and six is that D at the top of the page. One, two, three, four, rest. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Their fingering is okay. I tend to use a different fingering, but that's their use their fingering. It's all right. The second line there on page 71. The last measure, you're here. Three, those sixteenth notes come on beat six. Six end. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, six, six and one, six and one. So fourth, fourth line down, the dotted quarter notes. Remember, a dotted quarter note is the same as three eighth notes. So here it gets three counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Reach down. The last line, eighth, you got bass clef again. It's the same as the beginning. It's and then the last measure is treble clef. Left hand at the beginning. And you got treble clef come up here. Now keep it soft. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I want to hear the rest here. And these are just the primary chords. Till you get down to the bottom, and it's the same as the first line, the last line. Put the hands together. See, those are together, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, that is that in the left hand that hold that down for three counts. Right there, you lift up. And then here you cross over and hold this down for three counts. Here, you hold that down for four counts and then a rest. What we would like to be able to do is play the full chord in the left hand here at the beginning, but we can't because the right hand is using that note here. And play the rest. So these eighth notes in the right hand are by themselves. And here we have a little bit of a problem because again they both want the same note. So this is the last two measures of the first line here. So you get off this a little early because I need to connect the right hand. So get off the left hand. Now here, third line, here when I play the eighth note, lift up in the right hand. line is the same as the first line except the dynamics are different. As far as the articulation goes you pretty much 
get to feel this piece and you'll start feeling some articulation. Otherwise, the only thing I suggest you follow would be the accents. At the beginning, you have an accent. I exaggerated those, so you don't play them that much of an accent, but the idea is it's there. And then you don't get anything more until the end of the second line when it comes up. The dynamic. And then the fourth line down, accents. And you can, it's an interpretive thing, you can separate these a little bit if you want to. Because you have to separate these choice so you can separate the right hand to go along with it. Then the dynamics they don't give you a lot. Get to know the piece you can feel it. At the beginning you're starting out very soft and you gradually go to loud but don't get loud until the last measure of that line. See each one of these is a little louder is all. like the first measure is very soft and then soft and then sort of a soft to medium soft to medium loud somewhere in there and then loud so you have to estimate that a little bit and then you're moderately loud throughout most of page 71 again get to know it and you'll feel this because you're not going to stay moderately loud. I mean the end of the second line they want you to crescendo up to loud You get to know it and you feel it, you'll feel that crescendo anyway. And then the last line on page 71, you're going back to very soft. Start loud. Softer. Softer. Now they're saying very soft in the next to the last measure. I would suggest you just be soft there. Because you still got to get softer. There's, the crescendo is still going. So I don't want to be very soft until the last measure. Here. So gradually get softer there. As far as the tempo goes, or the speed, it says march tempo. Keep in mind I said before that a lot of marches are written in 6-8 time because you think they're playing triplets. They're not. It's 6-8 time. We want to feel it in two. Left, right, left, right. And they go to the some part of the actual song and get the melody and get a feel of that. One, two, three. two. When you get a feel of that tempo, then go back and you start it at that tempo. That would be your tempo. Eventually, you work it up to that. Control and accuracy is more important than speed, so don't go faster than what you can control and play accurate. Now, there is a repeat sign on 71. You see the next to the last line at the end, a repeat sign. Well, there's a reverse repeat sign at the beginning of 71, which means you're going to repeat that part. I'd like to do a play with me slowly to double check these notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do dynamics, but I will do the repeats. So I'll give a six cast. Let's try this together. One, two, three, four, ready, go.
two, three, four, rest, rest.